Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you my Vita page and the inspiration and the cards that I use to create these pages. Now today I'm making this video for my friends and family on Facebook and also for some of my subscribers. For those of you that don't know the story, um, I was sent an email from a representative of this apparel company that asked me if I would be willing to collaborate with them and uh, submit some of my card designs so that they can in turn use my designs to make scarves and tops etc etc so naturally I jumped at the opportunity what you're seeing in front of you is my Vita page I will just quickly scroll up a little bit so that you can see my name hold on there's my name my face and uh, my page and here is the designs that I sent in that they were nice enough to put on these models mannequins and uh, right currently they are on sale now let me begin before I go on any further I don't know how long this video is gonna be I might split it into two parts if it is two parts you'll see on the title that it's part this is part one and then you know, I'll film again and do part two, but I'm going to try to get uh, through this as fast as I can. So, Red Berries, this is my first design that I submitted to them. And this is what it looks like. Uh, and this, the inspiration for this was this card. Now, let me just add the following information when I make my cards I usually print up and make one big sheet like this sometimes bigger sometimes smaller and then I cut the cards to size so this pattern was in a uh, was in a sheet this size and then I cut it and I made a variety of different note cards with them so you see this is the design okay and I call this red berries they want me to name these things I couldn't think of anything I was hoping to get more of these red patterns in the front but it didn't happen all right and here's the back and there is the actual uh, sheet of paper okay uh, this has really and truly been an adventure to say the least here is my second my second pattern and this is not the actual original paper this is um, like again it was a one big sheet and this or uh, this actual uh, photograph the card that I made out of it that's been sold some lucky lady wrote uh, bought it as part of a package uh, at the last craft fair that I was at okay and this is it this is called abstract again couldn't think of anything else any other name black in the back and that's the original paper right there oops uh, there we go all right kind of kind of interesting all right let's go on to the set to the next to the next page or the next card this one and now by this time I'm getting a little bit creative with my name this is Jennifer's jelly <laughs> I I know silly this is the actual original uh, paper that I took my uh, that I took the picture of interesting isn't it uh, this company Vita again I'm gonna leave all the links uh, in uh, at the bottom of my YouTube page my YouTube channel page 
uh, and there you'll be able to see and, and get more information about the company. Okay, oops, I already showed that, so let's go on to the next, to our next design. This was called Springtime Mist. Now this Springtime Mist, again, this was my inspiration. Let me just bring this a little closer to you. This was my inspiration. It might be a little gold. Uh, but nevertheless, it's my inspiration. It was on a large piece of uh, paper, which I cut up and made several cards out of. This is the card, part of the card. Or it's, it's a card, but I used part of that sheet to make this particular card. All right? And once again, let's let's show you the back. <coughs> this time, it's going to be white. That's the original sheet, which unfortunately I don't have with me right now because I did, like I said, I cut up to make my cards. And there we go back again. And this is my springtime mist. Oh, how many more minutes do I have here? Oh, I, maybe we can do this all in one, one sitting, one video. All right. Now let's move down a little bit and see some more of my designs. Unfortunately, this one, excuse me, which is one of my favorites, I'm not going to be able to show you the cards nor the paper. I had put the paper away someplace and unfortunately misplaced it at the moment, but I'm sure that it will show up. So that's the front, this is the back, and that's a photograph of the actual design, the actual paper. All right, moving along. Okay, let's go back, and that was just a thought. The next one... Actually, it was uh, made on fabric, all right? Let's get a closer look at this. And this is the actual card that I photographed, all right? Get it a little closer to you so you can see. Uh... And I call this Golden Onion. And the reason why I call this Golden Onion is because this was a piece of white fabric which I dyed green and a little bit of red at the bottom. Once it was dried, I took an actual onion, painted it, stamped it, and then I added little uh, gold polka dots to it here and there. I never really was too impressed with this card, but I do like the uh, the shirt. So let's take a look and see. Again, black at the back. And, oh, nice, nice. This is nice and big. You're able to see that uh, much better. I'm running out of time. Let's speed this up. This one, this next one is called Sophia, named after my granddaughter. This is the actual card that I made. And this is the actual piece of paper that I photographed to submit to the company. And the back is black. And that is a close-up of the pattern. Let's move on. So I'm kind of excited about all of this. I really am. Uh, this is called Jackie's Choice. This is... Unfortunately, again, like the other one, I can't find this. And it kind of annoys me because I had all these papers together. But that's okay. Again, it'll show up when I'm, not, when I'm looking for something else. It'll show up. Black at the back. And here we go. Nice up and close up. Abstract. So that's it. Basically it in a nutshell. Uh, these are my designs. I'm really very excited about this. 